from the depths instant tutorial how do you download and upload blueprints to the from the depth steam workshop and stuff like that let's go into that so let's click on something we find interesting here and automatically we started our browser so here we have it and first we'll need to sign into our account in the browser to do this and we're now signed in here so we can just click subscribe to this item go back if uh, you want to browse the workshop here we can see the different things that you might want to get isn't that pretty cool somebody made a viking ship and while you're here you can just look around and search for some things that you want you can sort by most popular and stuff like that uh, we could then search for a uh, term like i promised to check out my discord friends uh, the Stellarion here so I'm going to subscribe to that one too and if you want to find stuff from a specific user you can write in the username like gmodism and you can click on my name there and here you find everything I have shared now you can go back to in-game and we can click play and unfortunately it takes some extra steps to even get them working so it's a little bit annoying but I'm gonna show you the process here so what you do is you just go up here click content and inside content you can scroll down here and here you can see uh, you can browse the workshop too but here you can see upload and download vehicles so you might say uh, we already downloaded the stuff well you actually haven't now you're real now you need to download them for real so here is some stuff I am uh, subscribed to right now and then you just need to find uh, whatever you want to save. So this is for example the, Stel the Stellarion which we sub to um, and we're gonna click this button here, download. And then you'll need to click again, save blueprint to disk. And then you just go to your folder here and place it wherever you want it. I'm gonna have it in my battleships folder here by Suzu and save. Nice! Now you have successfully downloaded a ship. Now you can just uh, cross this down and do the same thing with the next thing we downloaded. Download, save to disk. I'm gonna save it here. X this window. And here we have the last thing we didn't save, so we're gonna download it, save it to disk, save it in this folder. Very nice. This means if a user updates any of these designs, they will not automatically be updated on your system. If the user provided an update, you need to go into the subscription you have, like for example, let's say SUSE updated this, then I'll need to download it again, save it to disk, and save it. And now I have the new version. When you have saved your ships, you can just go into the designer here and load the vehicles. But these oarmen with beards, this is just so cool. And look at this bowman, it shoots arrows. And just like that, you can enjoy downloading and playing around with different cool designs. Very simple. So here we are in the designer with a casually 6 million super battleship, which we're going to upload. So what you basically do is you go to your design, make sure you save the vehicle, then you will just go to the main menu. Inside main menu, you go to content and down here under upload, you click that and you will select the ship you want to upload. Configure and upload AOG SP Superior Davidos Class Super Battleship. Click that. When you save the name of the ship, you can just copy it and paste it in here if you want to. But then you basically need to fill in the details. The details you filled in last time will be reused for your next upload. Uh, so you can just change it a little bit if you have a general type of description. You can edit it later if you log into Steam, but it is sufficient to post it here. So here you can see I've written Army of Gymnasium Super Battleship Davidos Class Super Battleship. And with a little text here and a little trivia and everything like that. Then you'll check all the boxes you think is most applicable to the ship you're uploading. If you have a screenshot available, you go in here and you select the one that you have. I don't have a screenshot of it. So I need to spawn it into the designer to take a screenshot. To take a screenshot, my recommendation is as follows. 
aim all the weapons at a nice direction. Click on M, set the speed to minimum. Now click F9 to remove the HUD. Fire. Now you will very quickly click F11 to pause the game. Now we can go over to this area and we can let it play out until we think we have a nice view. Move about and find an angle that looks nice. Then we click F12. Or possibly just take a normal screenshot like this. I recommend to go pretty far away and zoom in pretty much to get a nice picture. Because if we go in and take it like this, it's kind of hard to get a good angle. Now we go to the main menu, content, upload, configure and upload the Super Da videos. We're continuing here. And you can see everything is saved here. So pick a screenshot. Now we can have this one or the other one. Now you'll just need to click publish. And it says playing. And it says playing again, which means it is done. Now your ship is uploaded to the workshop and it opens in a new window. Now it's on the workshop and it takes a little bit of time for Steam to approve it. You can also edit the description and add more pictures over there. Most people like to have many pictures available when they're showing off a ship. And that will improve your chances of people actually downloading it. In any case, hope that helped you downloading and uploading designs to the workshop. If it did, leave a like and stay subscribed for future tutorials. Post some in comments about some future instant tutorials you would like to see. This is your host Eric of Jimodism and we're signing out.